Can I get two sausage, egg and cheese biscuits? Okay, anything else? Nope, that should do it. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, it is super early. We just picked up some breakfast to hopefully help us plow through the morning and the early afternoon. Today, we are headed back up to that reservoir where I met my new friend, Nick, and this time we're gonna try to hike into the inlet from a side that I've never hiked in before, so it's gonna be quite the adventure. Our target species today is, again, rainbow trout, cupo trout, brown trout, and of course, muskie. We're gonna be throwing big baits, jerk baits, maps number fives, here we go. throwing number five meps hopefully get into some muskies today we managed to make it to that inlet water's super murky on the side of the lake it's like one foot of visibility tops really crappy visibility fishing with nick i haven't heard nick yell yet so i don't think he's got any bites It's like a little one. Well, we're gonna give him a hack today. I think we might have to walk further away from the inlet actually, even though that was our target of where to fish today. Because look at that. It's like six inches tops visibility. Pretty horrible pretty horrible so I don't know about going further up on the inlet because it's just gonna get even more less visible I think it's just kind of chocolatey water right here so the further away you get away from it the more clarity we get I think that's where we're probably gonna find the fish today we'll see one hour later Oh yeah, now we're getting clear water. Ha ha! Look at that, I found the mud line. Okay. I think this is the ticket. Holy Look what I found, guys. Got a rod. First catch of the day. And the other thing I found too is, so basically I have hiked. Let me show you guys what I've done so far. I haven't caught a fish. <clears throat> well, I have hiked. We hiked in from over there and it is muddy as all heck. So I hiked around and down this ridge, found this pole just now. Now I'm caught up in my other lines. I'll get that on hooked in a sec. But uh, the other thing I found is along this ridge here, or at the edge of this point, this reef that comes out, it's usually underwater. I found the mud line. And that's a big deal because I'm, I'm convinced that uh, already, I've only really been fishing for about an hour. We should have caught a fish already. <clears throat> Prime time is always in the morning usually. And it kind of dies off at noon here, but I don't know if you can see it, but like it gets right here basically. Kind of right out in there, there's a mud line. And this is much clearer water, so I think we're probably in much better shape right here. So we're gonna try it. Three hours later. Oh, a net. No fish. Have caught a net. Have caught a. 
a new fishing pole. A crappy fishing pole, but nonetheless, we have caught a new fishing pole. A little longer than a few minutes later. There we go, finally, jeez. Kind of sight fish that one. Holy cow, it took all day to get a fish. All day. Watch him flop off too. It took four and a half hours, ladies and gents. Four and a half freaking hours to get one fish. Goodness gracious, that took a long time. That took a while, I tell ya. I really had to uh, coax him in there and slow it down for him to actually bite it. Cool. That water is cold. I wonder if that's part of it is, honestly, if they were just waiting to warm up and like they're not, interested in feeding it because it's only uh when the wind blows it gets pretty cold so like it's 11 it's noon it's only 46 degrees out so ah <sighs> could just be that could just be the fact that the water temperature needed to get up to maybe just a little bit over 40 40 degrees and I bet that's kind of about where it's at right now before they started to really turn on so maybe they'll start to turn on we'll turn this into a decent video I don't know but that took four and a half hours to get one fish and uh, it was cool because at least at least I got to sight fish that one I watched him eat it 20 minutes later There we go. Finally, one on the jerk bait. See what I mean? Maybe they're finally heating up here. Pretty good fighter. Pretty good little fighter. Now oh, he's kind of worn down. Ooh, brown. Where is it? Yeah, nice brown. Nice brown. Wow, look at that. That is actually a dandy brown. Jeez, especially for this lake. Look at that sucker. Sick. That was worth it throwing it all day, dudes. That was freaking worth it, 100%. Look at that. He chomped her too. It would not coming off that one, that's for sure. Awesome. A beautiful look at this brown. For this lake too, that is a solid brown trout. About 17 inches. Now I'm happy. Awesome. Like I said, maybe you just, uh, maybe they just had to wake the F up. I don't know, but that took a while to just get two fish. But that brown trout sure made my day. I'll, I'll take that all day. That was an awesome fight. He hammered it too. Good deal. 11 minutes later. Okay. I kind of just bypassed that whole bank because there was a lot of tree stumps right there. And uh, I don't know, I'm just not in the mood to lose more lures today. I mean, we might, but uh, I'm just not in the mood for it. So there's tree stumps all over the place because this obviously used to be like national forest and they made it a big dam a long time ago, but 
This has a nice really cove and I've actually got nice brown trout back in here. The trout pop will probably hook around and hook, hook fish this cove and then I'll probably round about back and try to find Nick. There we go. That one feels decent. Swimming towards me. That's it. So, uh, if I catch two more fish, I'm gonna call it a day on this video because I'll be happy with that um, for it. Hopefully Nick caught a few so we can make it a, a good one. But uh, we'll have to see, I don't know. We've only got about two hours left of uh, time on my uh, camera <clears throat> that's not facing me. The one that's, or excuse me, the one that's not on my chest, but the one that's you're looking at my whole body with. So not a lot of time left that's how long we've been fishing today. Usually I get it done within a couple hours or at least uh, just try to, especially on this lake, like I, sh I should have, I don't know, it's just been a weird day. Just haven't been biting like they want, like they should, I think. But uh, we did just get that nice brown, so we'll have to see what we can muster up over here. This has always been a pretty decent spot back here in this cove. Oh. Is that a brown? Oh yeah. That. Beautiful. So it hasn't quite been the day we wanted. But that's alright, that happens. Oh yeah, see there's a fish right there. Look at that. I'm gonna switch over to the jerk bait real quick. Oh, there was a bite too. Shoot. Totally missed him. He tapped it. Dang it, we got that one to tap it. There we go, got him. Now he came back for it. Sick, huh? Pretty much sight fishing. Pretty much sight fishing because we saw him rise. And we're like, hey. Hey, little buddy, why don't you come bite this jerk bait? Another brown? Brown town. Brown town. Don't you there's been brown, there's brown trout back in this cove? I don't know why, but for some reason this, I've always, I don't know why they congregate here, but I have always uh, caught a few brown trout out of this cove. Awesome, nice and aggressive. Just a little one this time, nothing giant on him. Cool, cool, cool. I guarantee that was that one that was rising over there. That is what I love about trout fishing. It's one of the things is like, they'll give you little signals and show themselves. If they're ready to bite, you can cast right at them. Another rainbow. Sorry, buddy, come over here. I was gonna be so mad too if we just completely missed that fish because it was like perfect. Tom rise through the jerk bait over there, felt him bite once on the pause, and it was like, oh, it was, it was just kind of a little tap. And then eventually he was back there nice and strong. Not a, not a giant, but hey, that's three today. That's three today. We're in good shape.
There we go. Ooh, started to fight. Oh, another one! Man, oh no, brown town! No, you guys saw it at least. He's right there too. He's right below me, just hanging out. He won't leave. I wonder if he's mad enough he'll bite again. No. Shoot! Oh yeah, there he is again. Watch him. Look at 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 him. He wants to bite it again. He's right here. He's wanting to bite it again. That's how mad he is. Come on, buddy. Wow, he's not even afraid. He's just still chasing it right here. It's big, too. Oh, that was crazy. Wow, talk about aggressive. Holy cow. That was insane. Well, that is going to do it for us. Hope you liked this episode. If you liked this episode, you know what to do. Please leave me a positive comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next adventure.